Welcome to the Calgary Boxing Day Rally. This is pre-rally. Nobody is even here yet. You can see it's relatively empty. I'm just going to give you a quick pan of what's going on. As you know, I, I usually arrive early to the rallies. But the harassment has already started. If you look way down in the corner there, sorry, it's going to be a close-up view. There's at least four cops in bylaw. And on the other corner, opposite them, just east of them, there's another four or five cops. And you know what they're doing? They're stopping the people as they cross the road and they're giving them $1,200 tickets. This is ridiculous. This is... It, it's, it's unfathomable that our police and bylaw have turned into 100% communist Nazis. Just like the Gestapo, Germany, World War II. And as I mentioned, look around. There's nobody here yet. But they're all gathering. And this is nothing compared to what did show up later. And here come some bicycle cops, I think. I should have a little bit of a chat with them. Maybe say hi, see what they're doing, and tell them a few things. You, got, you guys need to think about the oath you took. You took it to the queen, you took it to the corporation. You should be rescinding your oath because it was done under fraudulent conditions. You didn't know what you were swearing an oath to, and you should rescind it and then swear an oath to the people instead of the corporation, because you've sworn an oath to the New World Order. So... Sir, did those, did those officers talk to you? I don't need to talk to anyone. Okay, just you, so you, know, you got yeah, go ahead, yeah. No, you do. Just so you know, if you do attend the rally today, the yeah. gathering, there yeah. is potential that you may receive a ticket. I'm just letting you know this is your warning. I have so many tickets, it doesn't matter anymore. Okay. You know they're illegal. There's not even a law that says that they can I'm do this. I'm just letting you know if you're okay, sir? Yeah, yeah, okay. thank you. And I'm letting you know that you're, oh, I wasn't even having you on film here, but I can now. Um, that your oath is illegal because you swore an oath to the queen and the corporation and the new world order. Now you need to start thinking about your family because when your family grows up and your grandchildren and your children grow up, you won't be able to protect them because they'll be outside of your reach, your protection. So you need to swear an oath to the people and that's us, the sovereigns, the real people because they are trying to take over the world okay. because lie about we're pandemics. Not the, we're not your argument. The argument's not with No, no us. I know, but okay. I'm just telling we're just you. just telling you, if you go over and join the group, you're subject to a, a ticket. It's uh, $1,200. Yeah, so what? I've got so okay. many of them just now. So I can't pay them that, anyways. That's, we're that's not going to pay them. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something. Eventually, if you don't swear an oath to the people, then the people are going to start getting angry. I think there's more people out there that want us to be here and stop the protests. Yeah, because they've the been gatherings. they've been brainwashed. The only people that want they've that are the brain dead skanks that are basically ushering in the new world order. They don't realize the demise because they don't read the UN's agenda. Yeah, eventually they the will. The UN's agenda spells it out real clear, folks. Hey, sir, you are just so you know, you face the same jeopardy. Yeah, I heard. I already got are you threatening us? Is appreciate. that what you're doing? The cops oh. are threatening us now. That's yeah. great. You great. Yeah. Great. You back your sleep. Hey, what's happening, bro? Hey, joining the battle. They're giving <laughs> fines all the way out there. They're giving fines here. This is ridiculous, you know? They can fucking fine all they want. Well, I know. It's not yeah. going to fucking do nothing. Yeah. Here's this other fucking guy filming. You already got my picture a thousand times, buddy. <laughs> and he ain't even that good looking. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that the rat? Rats. That's what they do now. Yeah. I just want to have a word with you guys before I come over there. Okay. When you signed on to the police force, you signed an oath. Okay, but you were lied to by a corporation. So when you signed your oath, you signed it to the queen and the corporation. Therefore, it is illegal because they made you sign an oath under false pretenses. So you can now rescind your oath and swear your oath to defend the people instead of the corporation, which is the new world order. Now your families are okay, because you can protect your families right now but when they grow up and they move on and have their own lives, you will no longer be able to protect them and you will not sleep at night knowing that because of your actions now, you have jeopardized their future. So you need to rescind your oath 
and you need to swear allegiance to the people and then do your research. COVID is a lie. Masks do absolutely nothing. And it's all out there. It's there to research, it's not even hidden. So please, do your research. You, as sovereigns, you guys are all sovereigns of the land too. You have the right to live free as long as you do no harm to others. And so you need to really think long and hard about what you're doing. That's it. Yeah, you're ushering in fascism from the yeah. UN and other global governing bodies on the judicial, legislative and executive assemblies. You've been used as tools to keep the people down. This is exactly what happened in Nazi Germany. This is exactly what happened in Russia. It happens the same way, folks. Happens in China so right now. Repeat. And China actually owns most of the country. Yeah, so what you really need to think about that seriously, you guys, because this is what starts, and now all the people are gonna be enslaved, forced vaccinated, of course, which we all know is not good at all. But if people wanna wear a mask, they should have the choice. If they wanna wear a mask, wear a mask. If they don't, they don't. Hey, if you want to come down, wear a Halloween mask, yeah. wear a Halloween mask, 365. And by the way, we have the right to assemble. And all the tickets that you're writing are a waste of paper because they're not even legal. Even in the illegal system that they have set up, these tickets are illegal. Even within their system, which really technically doesn't apply to us. So, you know. At any rate. Tickets. <laughs> Jesus. Am I the lucky guy that I haven't gotten a ticket yeah, yet? Yeah, I, I just walked in and they hadn't come across the street and here we are. So now they're writing out all these tickets, pre-writing them. Well, folks, I don't know what to do. We've always supported the police. They've been fairly good to us in the past. But now they're starting to get more and more aggressive against us. They're starting to back by law. And now the police themselves, not only by law, are starting to issue tickets. So what do we do? We may have to step it up a notch. I no longer trust the police. Oh, he's there. He's always at the rallies. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah, looks yeah. like a hippie. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the cops around here. This is ridiculous. Look at them over there. Well, that's it, folks. Nothing too excited for the pre-rally. But it got very intense later. They went and started ticketing everybody. We started to yell Nazis, Gestapo, Communists. We were screaming. I think they got the hint because all of a sudden they all just turned around and left. Halfway through the rally, they just went back inside City Hall. Anyway, it's time to fight. <laughs>